uh, welcome back to Prison Architect. Previous episode, we built this visitation room. So now prisoners can see their uh, families face to face instead of just having to talk to them on the phone or through the mail. And we didn't have to do this because their family needs are already taken care of by the phone booths and by the mail rooms. But, uh, you know, it's a nice thing to do for them. So that's why I did it. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of this table tennis table. And you will see why in just a second. I also want to move this uh, chessboard away. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a whole bunch of chairs here. So now that the uh, chairs are put here, what we can do is we can go to programs. And if you see alcoholics group therapy, only two people at the same time can participate in alcoholics group therapy. I don't want that. I want way more people to participate. Uh, and now if we reschedule all programs, it will take place in this, in this common room. And because there are a lot of chairs, more people can participate in the alcoholics group therapy. So why did I do this, right? Now, of course, because now a lot more people can go to alcoholics group therapy. But what I also want is that these prisoners don't stay in here. You know, they're wasting away their life in here. You know, they're locked up. Uh, they're costing me money. They're wasting away their lives. What I want them to do is I want them to go out and stay out. And how do we do that? We do that by giving them opportunities to better themselves. So, for example, with reform, you can give them extra programs that they can participate in, like cooking classes, like education, like carpentry classes. And uh, the more they reform, the higher this score will be, or the more they participate in reform programs and the more they work in prison, this score will go up. And the higher this score, the lower the reoffending chance. You also have like other ways uh, with which you can lower the reoffending chance. By exa for example, by punishing them a lot and making them stay locked in all the time. I don't want to do that. I want to give them some free time. I want to give make them. Uh, I want to give them chance to better themselves. They can go exercise and stuff like that. I don't want to just coop them up in their prison cells. So uh, if you give them a lot of free time, the punishment will go down, the punishment score. If you make them uh, locked up, or if they have to stay for a really long time in the prison, then uh, the score will go up. And the higher the score, the lower the reoffending chance. Another thing is security. You can make them uh, really secure by having a lot of armed guards and making them uh, stay locked up. I also don't want to do that. So this, and if they misbehave, the prisoner, this score will also go down. So this score is pretty much dependent on the prisoner. Every prisoner will have a different security score. So a prison that misbehaves a lot will have a lower security score. And the higher this score, also the lower the reoffending chance. And then health, I pretty much have taken care of. You just give them good food. And you make them exercise. And because they have a lot of free time, they can exercise a lot. And I'm giving them high variety and high quality meals. So this score will also go up. So this thing, uh, I can do more for the punishment. I can do more for the security. I also can do more for the health. So these things are pretty much set. Uh, these things are set. I can't increase these things anymore. Uh, you know, I'm not going to give them less free time. So the punishment score goes up. I can't do more for health. Security is also dependent on the prisoner themselves. What I can do is I can give them more reform programs. So uh, one thing that we did is we increased the capacity of the alcoholics group therapy. Uh, we got some kitchen classes so they can uh, do those. We also have the treatment of drug addiction. That's great. We got uh, spiritual guidance. Uh, what else can we do? Well, what I want to start with, we can do like workshops and make them work. In workshops. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with education. So to 
to start with education, we're gonna have to need to build some classrooms. I already built like two buildings for it. So what we can do is we can build, you know, some classrooms where they can be put and uh, be taught. So I'm just gonna put like a whole bunch of uh, school desks. And I need around 20, so there's seven in a row, so that's 21. I also want a few school desks on this side. Also. So somebody just got killed and somebody got es <laughs> escaped. Yikes. Uh, anyway, so we got like school desks and what we need is an office desk. So let's get an office desk and that's pretty much enough for a classroom. I also want to put a chair behind this office desk. But what we could do is we could also add some extra stuff to increase the room quality, right? For example, we need uh, a blackboard. So let's get a blackboard. Blackboard is also it's really handy. We have a classroom, right? And what else? Let's see. We need two bookshelves. And... Or a water cooler. Let's get a water cooler. So we can get them like near the entrance. And they should be perfect classroom. Okay, so the classrooms are built, it's perfect. And what we can do now is what we can do. We can plan in like uh, some education programs. There we go. Teaching safe, the foundation education and the general education course. So that's great. It's amazing. That's good, good stuff. And what I just said, uh, you know, some, someone killed someone. So what I also want is I want to, uh, you know, increase the security of these guards. So I want to give them tasers and also body armor. So I'm going to research that. So I uh, just research body armor so they get extra armor uh, and they will last a lot longer in fights. And I also have tasers. So to get body armor, what I need to do is I need to build an armory. And uh, my guards will go here to get the armor. So let's get some. Uh, let's get some things for the armory. Go, let's get rid of this. Let's put it down there. So we got now an armory. And to get give them tasers, what they need to do, they need to first follow a course. So the guard taser certification is they need to go to class. They need to follow a course. And when they complete that course, they will get a taser. So now uh, I also have that. There we go. Now they're going to the armory. And they're putting on extra armor. Just in time. <laughs> because there's this crazy person killing my guards. Yikes. What is this guy doing? This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. <laughs> he just killed one of my guards, okay. Um... Oh, more of them are in God damn, dude. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get like five more guards. So they can stop them. Oh, two dead. God damn it. Two people died. 
This is crazy, man. This is seriously crazy. I don't know what the hell is happening, man. Like, all of them are going crazy, all my prisoners. This girl just knocked out four of them <laughs> at once. <laughs> wow, what a hero. Let's see. Are any people following the education course? Yeah, it's pretty full. So that's pretty cool. At least some of them are behaving. So we again have a, a gang problem. And we need to take care of that fast. Nip it in the bud. While it's still in its infancy. The problem. So what I'm going to do, I think next episode, is I'm going to build like a super max area for the prison. Where I'm just going to lock up every gang member, every person that will cause a lot of trouble. So yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to do for next episode. For this episode, we, uh, you know, did some things so we can increase the reform rate of the prisoners. And hopefully this will allow them, you know, to get out in the world, live their lives, live their best lives. And, uh, you know, not turn to a life of crime. So I want to thank you for watching. Please leave a like. Also leave a comment. Comments really help with the algorithm. You would be helping me out a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And bye bye.